So imagine you take your body from this to this and all this is done within a few months and it's all done at your house without spending money on any equipment and just using your whole body weight to grow such a physique. It sounds crazy, right? But actually, it's not. It's not as complicated as you think. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how I transform my physique within a few months of doing calisthenics at home. And hopefully, you'll be doing the same. All right, first of all, you need to understand your body type. So usually you have the ectomorphs, which are the skinny people and have a high metabolism. And then you have the endomorphs, which are generally fat people who put on a lot of weight in their body. So you have to identify which category you're in. Or maybe you might be in the middle, right? Where you're not too skinny and you're not too fat. So the reason I'm telling you this is because if you're the skinny person, if you're an ectomorph, then your goal should be to gain some weight, right? That means you might have to be in a caloric surplus, so you eat more calories than your maintenance. There's so many calculators online where you can calculate your maintenance calories. So let's say it's just 1,500. If you're skinny, you're gonna have to eat 1,800, let's say. But if you're fat, you're gonna have to eat 1,200. I'm just giving you an example. You can calculate your calorie maintenance. If you're skinny, eat below, uh, sorry, eat above, and if you're fat, eat below. And for my opinion, nutrition isn't that complicated as long as you try to avoid eating food that really lower your energy and does you no good. In other words, like you can say empty calories, right? So you're getting a lot of calories and no nutrition, like cola or stuff like that, right? Or getting a glass of beer, like you're not getting any nu nutrients from these drinks or food. And trust me, it's enough to see results and try to eat more nutritious food. Nutritious food. Now let's move on to the main part. All right, now moving on to our favorite part, which is the workout. So it's, I'm gonna simplify this for you, all right? You have the push exercises and the pull exercises, and of course, the legs. But with push and pull, you have the horizontal push and the vertical push. And then for the pull, you have the horizontal pull and vertical pull. To give you an example, for the horizontal push, this means like the push-ups, or any other variation of the push-ups. And the vertical push is, let's say, the pike push-ups, right? When you're pushing in a vertical line. Now, for the horizontal pull, you have the Australian pull-ups, right? Or the inverted rows, for example. This is a horizontal pull. But the vertical pull, you have the pull-ups, right? Pull-ups, chin-ups, anything where you're pulling your body vertically to the ground, okay? This is something that you have to understand. And to increase your strength, you have to increase your vertical push and pull and your horizontal push and pull. Quite simple, right? Now, what would I do if I'm starting out and I want to build muscles and increase strength? Well, when it comes to the pushing exercises, and this is no rocket science, but it starts with push-ups, right? Push-ups is basically the fundamental, in my opinion, to your pushing strength. You have the horizontal push, which is the push-ups, and then you have the vertical pull, the vertical push, which is a pike push-up. But the pike push-up is kind of a progression from the push-ups. So it all starts with push-ups. But when you're starting out and you start increasing your push-ups, uh, your volume, and you do different variations, automatically you're putting more load to your muscles. And due to the resistance, it's going to trigger muscle growth. And I have a lot of videos of push-up progressions and other exercises, for example, the pike push-ups, which will lead you to the handstand push-up. The thing about calisthenics, it's an endless journey, right? There will always be an exercise which is more difficult than the other. And because of that, you can consistently increase the progression, which means you're increasing the difficulty. And when you increase the difficulty, there's more resistance. And more resistance leads to muscle growth. So it starts with push-ups, and then maybe you might do a clapping push-ups, maybe then archer push-ups. You try to progress to the one-arm push-ups. So you see how your strength is automatically going up, and of course, when you add more volume, then you're going to stimulate muscle growth. So with the pushing strength, you're mostly targeting your chest, your triceps, your shoulders. And also not to forget, when it comes to pushing, it's not just the push-ups. You have the dips, which you can get two chairs and start doing dips, right? Or you can do the bench dips. So there are endless of exercises. This is why I suggest you check out my channel. I post a lot of videos of workouts and exercises you can do right now to see results in your physique. And when it comes to your pulling strength, you can start with the horizontal pull which is, let's say, like the Australian pull-ups. Again, you can find a surface where you can hang from. You don't need any equipment, and you pull yourself up. 
And when it comes to the vertical pull, you have the pull-ups. I personally suggest that you invest in a pull-up bar. But if you don't have a pull-up bar, that's not a problem. You can use the door frame. Just put a towel under the, the door so it doesn't swing back and forth and pull yourself up. If it's difficult to pull yourself up if you're starting out, you can jump up to a pull-up and perform a negative. Now we know that with the pushing exercises, we, we tend to target our chest, the front delts, the triceps, and with pulling exercises, you target muscles like the biceps, your lats, and your back generally. But what about the legs? Again, it's not complicated. It starts with a couple exercises like the squats, the lunges, and then you go up to other progressions. I made a video about the leg workouts of leg exercises which can literally build an insane amount of strength, athleticism, size. So check that video out. It literally goes from like the beginner level to intermediate and then advanced. So you can see where you stand on the scale and try to level up. So I just want you to remember the whole point of this is that when an exercise gets easy and you feel like it's not going to stimulate any muscle growth, you move on to a different progression. And that's the thing about calisthenics, right? That's why it's an endless journey. You achieve an exercise, but then you realize there's a more difficult progression to that. And when you get to that other progression, you realize there's even another progression. It's literally a matter of improving yourself, uh, creating a workout program, which can make it easy for you to follow and see results. And you might want to get an idea of how a workout program would be. For me personally, you can go push full legs, or you can go full body. You can go for the skill you're training if you're serious about calisthenics and you wanna learn skills. Like for me personally, when I started calisthenics, I was doing like full body every single day. For example, I would do push-ups, dips, pull-ups, chin-ups, and squats. Or if you're doing push day, you can do push-ups, dips, bench dips, pike push-ups, all in one day. And then the next day you do pull-ups, back extensions, for example. So it's up to you, it's completely up to you how you want to program, but always remember that you want to get as much volume as you can. The more volume, the better. And make sure the exercise is quite challenging. That means if you get to 8 to 12 reps, you're going to feel that burn already and you're going to feel like quitting. And I literally have a workout program, which is free. It's literally for free. All you have to do is click the link and you download it. That's it. And it basically just tells you the exercises, the reps, the sets. It's a whole workout basically especially for beginners, for you to master the fundamentals and be able to move on to more difficult and complicated exercises, which is where you're probably gonna see the real growth and muscle growth. It's not complicated, guys. It's just a matter of starting and committing. And of course, most importantly, progressing every one or two weeks, trying out new exercises, challenging yourself, pushing yourself. This is the most important part. You need to push yourself to the limits, right? If you really wanna see growth, you need to be pushing yourself. This is the only way to grow. So if you want to see more videos of how you can increase your strength and size, subscribe to my channel. I'm always posting videos of workouts and exercises you can do to increase your size and strength. Again, there's a free workout routine you can start as a beginner and it's down in the description. And other than that, peace out, man, and keep pushing. Don't give up. And trust me, you will see results. All right? That's pretty much it. Peace.